In our last video, we learned how to create horizontal and vertical waveforms. Let's start with something simple, just mixing the horizontal and vertical ramp outputs from Visual Cortex with each other. The horizontal output of Visual Cortex is going to go into Passage, and the vertical output is going into Passage's Through input. We're going to take the output channel of Passage and look at it on our monitor. Passage is a simple mixing and processing module. In this case, the vertical ramp is passing straight through to the output, and the horizontal ramp can be mixed with that signal additively or subtractively. If we make our ramps triangle waveforms, and then add them together, we've got our first 2D shape. We have a linear diamond. Visual Cortex has some pre-mixed ramp outputs. The H plus V output. The H minus V output. Another way to combine the horizontal and vertical elements is through modulation. We're going to take the triangle output of a prismatic ray and have it create horizontal range bars. Now we're going to set up the second prismatic ray. This prismatic ray is going to be used to modulate our first one. We're going to take the sign out and modulate frequency. The brightness of the second prismatic ray is modulating the frequency of the first. We could also unsynchronize it if we wanted to create some scrolling motion. In addition to frequency modulation, we could also modulate the amplitude of the signal through the multiply input. Or we could modulate the pedestal to control the brightness of the first oscillator. Another common technique is to use a key generator to process the combination of the horizontal and vertical components. Let's look at the H plus V outputs on Cortex and patch them into doorway. As you can see here, the mix is creating a diamond shape, and our threshold control is going to change the size of that diamond. If we change the slope of the input ramps to logarithmic, we can create a circle. If we change the slope to exponential, we get a four-pointed star. To create a more complex geometry, we just need to combine more horizontal and vertical elements together. Let's modulate this shape we're creating with doorway with a prismatic ray. I'm patching the vertical output of prismatic ray into the threshold control input of doorway. Now we've created zigzag edges around our diamond shape. We could try different wave shape outputs. To create different types of patterns. Unsynchronizing the prismatic ray is going to create scrolling motion.
we can use doorways foreground and background inputs to insert even more patterns. We're going to insert our second prismatic ray into the foreground input of the doorway module. And let's introduce a third prismatic ray into the background input. In our next video, we're going to look at a few techniques for colorizing this pattern we've just created. Thanks for watching.